one of the events that Tracy uh, highlighted in her presentation was the annual uh, Virginia Section AWWA uh, meeting, uh, which took place in May. Uh, the meeting has a couple of different elements to it. Uh, there are educational things that AWWA provides for their membership, but then they also do a, a utility rodeo. And you saw uh, one of the photos was of the, the uh, water tap. Uh, there are different competitions that are held. Another piece of that is a locator competition, in particular the buried treasure competition. Uh, it was incredibly close, as you'll see in just a moment. Uh, obviously the competition was pretty stiff uh, because the top three finishers finished very close to each other. In third place, Elton White with the city of Chesapeake, look, look how far he finished behind second place. One and one half inches his, his spot that he chose for where the buried treasure was, was one and a half inches away from the second place uh, participant. John Goforth with Caroline County finished second. Elton's an inch and a half away from him. John's only an inch and three-fourths away from the winner. So looking at approximately three and a half inches separating the first place winner and the third place finisher, that's pretty good. That's pretty tough competition. Uh, the winner of the event is Dewey Eanes, who's with the VPI Water Authority, which is out in the Blacksburg area. Uh, AWWA, as part of the competition, awarded Dewey a $1,000 scholarship to help offset costs so he can go in August to participate in the International Utility Locate Rodeo, which is held in Georgia. Uh, we've had Virginia locators participate in that particular competition in years past. Uh, John Goforth has placed in the water locating competition there in years past. Uh, Ray Powell, who uh, uh, located for One Vision, uh, placed very high in the gas division. Brad Fitzpatrick uh, placed, I believe it was last year, in the communications piece. But this is, this is the cream of the crop. And that is really saying something that we've got Virginia folks being able to go and participate in that. We're fortunate enough to have one of those top three finishers with us today. And five minutes before the meeting started, poor Elton found out that we're going to make a spectacle of him. Uh, Elton, if you don't mind, uh, 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 please first stand, of course. Uh, and. Uh, and come on up, come on up here. If, if you don't mind, for those who are unfamiliar with the competition, tell what, what's the buried treasure competition all about? Oh well, the buried treasure competition is they have like a, a spoke wheel, and what happens is that prior to the locators coming out, they will bury a wire underground um, around the spoke wheel, and what happens is you have about I say about five minutes to locate this line. What you have to do is every time the line crosses a spoke on the wheel, you got to put a flag down. And so once you, and they don't tell you where the line will leave out of the wheel. So what happens is as you're going through, you put a flag down, put a flag down. And then once you're finished, you go back and you have to go from the center and measure where you believe that the flag crosses the spoke wheel. And then you put down your measurements and that's how they tally up the total measurements of what you know, the locator did, so um, that's pretty much. Um, and so it's really it's the accuracy I found out is very important because generally the, the winners, we made it within, or the runners up made it within the time limit, but the, the, the measurements came down to the winner or the loser. And how many years have you participated in this competition? This, this is my second second time. And how many years have you been locating? Um, about 11 years. Okay, so that's, that, that's incredible, and again, Three and a half inches separating the top three. That, that, that's very impressive. Well, we, uh, again, uh, you know, appreciate your dedication to what you do because obviously if you're getting that close, you're, you're taking seriously what you're doing in trying to help uh, damage prevention. And, of course, I'm sure you're having fun, too, with the competition. We, we, all, we all enjoy that to a degree. Uh, but thank you very much for being here. And before we let you go sit back down, Now that the weather's getting nice, you may occasionally need to take a break.
So we have a, a nice little stool here for you that has our VA811 logo. Oh, thank you. Uh, there's a little uh, insulated cooler in here too, so bottles of water or adult beverages if you prefer will go in there as well. So thank you again uh, for your wonderful job. All right, and thanks again to Elton.